Hi, I'm Joni Petrie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about Jupiter turning retrograde, which it turns retrograde June 20th. And it will turn retrograde at 8 degrees of Aquarius. Now remember, I am talking about the sidereal Vedic astrology placements, not the Western tropical. So before I start, always remember, if you would like to get my free newsletter, go to my website. This is where you will get all of my predictions delivered to your email address. Go to galacticcenter.org and don't remember what don't forget while you're there check out my beautiful jewelry i have prayer malas and beautiful jewelry that reminds us of our spiritual path so with that let's continue on and look into jupiter as it transits backwards starting from eight degrees of aquarius it will be in the nakshatra called Shatabishak when it stations. And when Jupiter stations, it pretty much stays still for quite some time. Remember what I'm talking about when I talk about a station is that when a planet turns retrograde or it turns direct, that's where it's standing still. And it stays around that degree for almost two months. So that is powerful. So if you have any planets in your chart that are around seven, eight degrees of Aquarius, you're in luck because Jupiter really plows down, really gives its effects. What does Jupiter do for us? It gives us opportunities. So Jupiter being in Aquarius will bring opportunities for change around friends, groups, organizations, and particularly a transformational change in society, in humanity. That's basically what Aquarius is all about. And not only that, I love this. It's in the Nakshatra Shatabishak, which is the hundred healers, which means something's coming about that is healing the world, that's bringing awareness to everyone. We are all coming to a new stage in our awareness and healing. Furthermore, this nakshatra is called the Sky Watcher. And many people that have planets around this degree marking are in the nakshatra Shatabishak have always loved anything to do with the heavens, whether it's astronomy, astrology, what's out there in space, aliens. They love it. They wonder what's beyond this world. That's Shatabishak. Jupiter stationing in that degree point brings these things out. But it's going to tra transit back not only out of this nakshatra, but it's going to transit back into Capricorn. Yes. So Jupiter is going to turn retrograde on the 20th and it will turn direct. So it will, will remain retrograde till October 18th. And October 18th, it will be at 28 degrees of Capricorn. And around mid-September, I believe it's around the 14th to the 16th that Jupiter will enter from Aquarius, zero degrees Aquarius, it will enter into Capricorn around that time. And it will stay in Capricorn. It's going to turn direct, of course, in, uh, on October 18th, but it will stay in Capricorn between around the 14th of September till around the 20th of November. That's when it'll be in the sign of Capricorn. Then it will transit back into Aquarius. And by the time it's going to cross over the same degree that it's stationed at, around eight degrees of Aquarius, which means whatever has come to pass during this time while it's stationing will come to its completion around mid-January of 2022. 
Jupiter will remain in Aquarius then again till April of 2022. And at that point in time in April, it will transit into Pisces. But let's talk about what this Jupiter retrograde is going to bring to the world. You know, I think Jupiter retrograde is so important because Jupiter is about wealth, abundance. When it turns retrograde, we're going to see the shifting that's occurring now in the economy. It's been going on, but the stock market that many say doesn't really reflect what's really going on in the economy, it's but it deals with business, it deals with stocks, yes. It is, it is going to go down during Jupiter's retrograde process. It's just Jupiter is about expansion. It's about business. It's about productivity. It's about optimism. It's about growth. And when Jupiter goes retrograde, those things go in reverse. Now, I don't think it's going to happen immediately, but you'll see how the trends start to slide. This is what this deals with. And Jupiter going retrograde will affect all of us depending on where it is in our charts. But here's one thing I do want people to recognize. Look to see if you have any planets that Jupiter is going to be fully aspecting right now while it's stationing. And even when it does go retrograde, but it's still around eight and seven degrees, it still has a major impact when it's aspecting any planet that is at seven, eight degrees of Aquarius, seven, eight degrees of Gemini, seven, eight degrees of Leo, or seven, eight degrees of Libra. These are, those are the places Jupiter will be casting its full bodied aspect. And this is going to bring you some opportunity, some growth, definitely expansion in a big, huge way. Check that out. Now, again, for those of you that have a planet that is at 28 degrees of Capricorn, you're in luck just as well. Of course, this isn't going to come to fruition till around October because this happens on the 18th of October. Therefore, pretty much a whole month of October, expect major opportunities, because at this point, Jupiter's starting to go forward again. This is even better. So what are those degree markings that you're gonna be looking for in your chart? Remember, I'm talking the Vedic chart. Don't be doing this with your Western chart. It just will be incorrect. This is not what the placements. I think a lot of people tend to disregard what I'm saying here, but it's very important. Remember, if you want to know your Vedic chart, go to my website and check out the free cart chart calculator. But I want you to scroll down to the bottom and see where your planets are. Don't be looking at all the charts and trying to read them if you don't understand them. I have so many people that think the North Indian style chart, the numbers are houses, but the numbers are actually the signs. Okay, but let's get to business here. Jupiter being 28 degrees of Capricorn, then that means 28 degrees of Cancer will be affected in a positive way and 28 degrees of Taurus and Virgo because Jupiter casts its full-bodied trinal aspects to the other Earth signs, which would be 28 Taurus, 28 Virgo, and then opposite 28 degrees of Cancer, and of course, the 28 Capricorn. If you have any of your planets at those degrees, you're in luck. You're going to come into some wealth, money, expansion, growth, opportunities. That's what Jupiter is all about. It gives us opportunities, but most of all, it gives us optimism to face the future, to feel good about ourselves, to be positive, to help others, to learn, to teach, to travel. Don't forget, Jupiter is all about long distance travel. And even though everything is opening up in the world for traveling, I think there's going to be a little hiccup while Jupiter goes retrograde. It's not going to be so progressive as everyone thought. It's going to be some major 
changes with traveling, maybe even something to do with the virus. But I believe that people are going to pull back somewhat when it comes to their plans with travel while Jupiter's retrograde, even though we see major record highs of people taking trips. But Jupiter retrograde, pay attention, when it does go back into Danishta, Danishta's degree markings are 23 degrees, 20 minutes of Capricorn and six degrees, 40 minutes of Aquarius. So Jupiter will be for the most part in Danishta. And Danishta is a nakshatra that is very energetic. It's ruled by Mars. Things will be moving forward. People will want to make things happen in the economy, even though they're being pulled back somewhat because when planets go retrograde, it's a time for review, reassessing things. And Jupiter being in Danishta can have its repercussions dealing with the economy. It's time to go back and reassess what's been going on in the economy. Yes, it'll probably go downwards, but when Jupiter goes direct again, it'll probably go upward. I don't ever see a complete dire crash. I'll tell you why. And so many people want to just predict, you know, there's going to be a crash. The world will never recover. That is not true. There is so much money out there. And with the United States continuing to print money, more people have money. They're going to spend it. They're going to invest in it. And this keeps the world going on and on. So don't think one day all this dire predictions, it's going to come to an end. It's not, but we are going to have some down cycles. We're going to have some up cycles again. And remember, it's always reminiscent of where the planets are transiting. So keep posted with my newsletter, as well as my magazine, which is astrologicmagazine.com. If you're wondering about the economy, I write an article called Astro Finance. Check it out, astrologicmagazine.com. Things are cyclic, things will be up and down, but watch the trends astrologically and you can come out ahead. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, remember, sign up for my free newsletter, go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And remember, if you want to study with me, Vedic Astrology, go to my university website, check it out. It is a stellar program. It is where you are going to learn Vedic Astrology. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.